have the FT2000. I think one of Yezu's nicest rigs, and we're gonna go ahead and install the AC Mod standalone unit. Taking a look at the back, the connection is pretty straightforward. Just connect the HDMI connector and flip on the AC Mod enable switch right there. The AC Mod is engaged for uh, ESSB or for Hi-Fi Asymmetrical AM. If you turn the switch off in the off position, the radio reverts 100% back to factory specs. Charles wanted this radio to go down to a watt or less than that, and apparently he wasn't able to do it before. Well, now he can. He can go down to 200 milliwatts or less, up to 15 watts of dead key. It is recommended not to go beyond 5 watts. It is targeted to be accurate in the low power range from half a watt to about five watts to maintain headroom. Outside of that, you start losing headroom. So as long as you stay within a five watt carrier, you could have a symmetry all the way up to 300% if you like. Otherwise, if you go beyond five watts of carrier, you'll have to back down on the positive peaks and monitor them so they don't distort. At any rate, um, we've added an extra amp gear that he wanted inside this uh, unit. Um, the FT2000 pretty much has everything you need. It's a pretty complete machine. Hello and welcome to another AC Mod video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yezu FT2000 alongside the AC Mod standalone unit. Let's go ahead and power it up. Right now we're on uh, lower sideband, so let's go to AM. Okay, if you switch to any other mode, turns off. Back to AM. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a test. Let's give it a test run. We'll start recording on Vegas and we'll go ahead and put all the controls down counterclockwise and we'll transmit. One of the reasons why we installed the AC mod standalone to this radio was because Charles wanted uh, complete control of the lower range of the RF power of the radio. As it comes from factory, uh, the lowest setting is five watts. Uh, so now he's able to set uh, 5 watts and below anywhere, down to 100 milliwatts if he wants to. Um, we'll take a look. So we'll go ahead and transmit. Let's go ahead and put the carrier up to, let's see, as you can see, there's zero. We're going up. It's about 100 milliwatts, 250. It's about half a watt. That's a watt. Let's kill the microphone here in Pro Tools. And um, we could go up, let's say two watt dead key. That's a three watt, four watts, five watts. Okay, but you continue if you want to. You can go all the way up to about 20 watts, 18 watts. Well, we don't recommend more than uh, 15 watts on this radio. So we'll go ahead and set it for a one watt dead key. So one watt, set our reference. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start the SIG gen. As you can see, we have uh, some modulation there already. We need to bring up the modulation. We'll bring up the gain a little bit, the modulation a little bit until we see four watts on the PEP meter as seen right now. Put some asymmetry into it. And as you can see, when we hit the 200%, we're up to about nine watts, 10 watts. If we go all the way to 300%, uh, we're all the way up to 14 watts. Okay, so we'll set it at 100, let's see, right there. We'll set it right there. And uh, we're going to give it a little test here on AM. So we'll kill the signal generator and open up the microphone on Pro Tools. And we'll transmit. Uh, do you want to? This is what it sounds like right there. The FT2000 or the AC mod standalone as it comes out of the IC706 MK2G. And uh, as you can see, we have our one watt dead key swinging to about uh, seven watts. And uh, the envelope over there looks beautiful. 
Uh, no pinching. Uh, you can see we're up to about 200% uh, there on the peaks. And if we bring up the asymmetry, we could uh, hit the 300 mark. And uh, we'll race up uh, the audio here, and there we are at 300%. 300% uh, modulation right there. Uh, now our PEP meter is running about 14 watts. And that's what it sounds like. The FT2000 with the AC mod standalone. Let's bring the asymmetry down. That might be a little too aggressive. We never do 300%. Uh, we do about 150 to 200. Now let's go ahead and give it a test run on sideband. So we'll stop transmitting. We'll go to upper. And we'll switch here to upper. USB. There we go. And we'll key up. So there we are, 27.205 and lower sideband. We're testing out the um, FT2000 alongside the AC mod standalone unit. And I'm recording the audio here in Vegas. And it looks good to me there on the spectrum. Looks good on the meter. Looks good on the O-scope. And it sounds good in my ears. So it sounds really, really good. All right, so. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you guys on the next one. Seven threes.